welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup routine. And this is like my super quick, lazy makeup thing because, I don't know. This has just been the general gist of it lately. Just winged eyes and a little bit of color. So that's just kind of, yeah, winged eyes, a little bit of bronzer, stuff, and a nude lip. So that's pretty much all I do ever. And my other like everyday ones, I'm pretty sure I have like, I put fake eyelashes on, but whenever I do winged eyeliner, that's like an excuse for me to not even bother with eyelashes. I just put some mascara on and then I'm fine. So this is just really, really good if like you're like me, you're either lazy, you don't plan out your day well enough and you run out of time, or you just want a quick makeup routine. So I thought I would show you mine. So yeah, if you want to see how I get this look or if you want to see what I do in 10 minutes of my day, please keep watching. To start off, I'm priming my face with the Benefit Professionals and this is my favorite primer because it actually just fills in my pores and it does a very nice job. And it feels like really nice and like smooth and silky. So it's like a really good base to put your face up. It's a really good base for your foundation. Then, because I have some pimples, I don't know, like acne, um, at the moment, I'm just going to put some concealer on it, and this concealer is really dark. I got this when I fake tanned, and it was actually, like, I could use it as a highlighter, so it is, actually, the shade is medium to light neutral and this is the naked skin concealer and this is like my favorite concealer ever it is so like good it's really ignore my dog in the background but anyway yeah this concealer is really good because it's really cool coverage and it stays on all day so i definitely want to get another one but in a much lighter shade then, oh, I'm taking my Caviar Outlast Day Fabulous Foundation in Classic Ivory, which is, well, it was the lightest shade in store. So this is the lightest foundation in store, but it's still a little bit dark for me. Well, I think it is. I don't know. But I need to go get color matched. So once that is done, I'm going to go in with my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer in Light Pale. And I'm going to put this under my eyes. I really, really like the color of this concealer, but I literally hate the applicator so much. It's like really, like I don't know how to describe it, but it's hard and it kind of hurts a little bit. Like it's really just... I don't know. It could be better, is what I'm saying. Beautiful. And then I just take the other end of my beauty blender. So like I just blended my foundation with this one and then I take this end to blend that in. Just so like the foundation doesn't get mixed up in that. So then to set that in place, I'm taking my clear complexion, um, yeah, my clear complexion powder by Rimmel in the shade Transparent. Next is eyebrows, and for that I just brush through them and fill them in really, just I follow the natural shape and I'm using my Kmart brand eyebrow kit and I just take the darker one for like the outer part of my eyebrow and then the lighter part for the inner part. So then I'm just taking the lighter part and being 
like really light handed with it. Then to finish off my brows, I just take this Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel from Essence in, I'm pretty sure this is the blonde one. Yep, in Blondie Brows to just brush through them. And this just make sure that they stay in place all day. So for my favorite part is eyes and for that I am taking my, mm, can you see it? My Morph 35N palette. And pretty much what I do is I just do like a warm brown eye and I just start off with the lighter shade and then work my way up to the, like the darker shade in my crease just to make it like nice and gradient and it sounds like it's a lot but really it takes me like a few seconds so I'm just starting off with like a really light shade as you can see so oh I need a mirror just put that in the crease Then I move on to the next one, which is not that, which is this color right here. So I just build that one into the crease as well. And then it just starts like a nice gradient effect, which is the look I'm going for. I'm gonna mix these two here, if you can see that. They're like one, they're just, they're darker than the last one we just put in. But one's a really like orangey brown and the other one is just a deeper brown. I really like warm, no not warm, yeah warm. I really like warm tones because cool tones look absolutely shit on me. I can't wear them, I don't even try to put them on. They just look so bad on me. Like, ooh. Then I'm just taking I'm mixing this like, I would say like it's a deep cranberry color and then I'm just lightly putting on a little bit of black just to add that last little bit of depth. But not much black at all. Cause I don't want it to be too dark. Then I just go back in and I blend that out. moving on to my favorite part and I do this every day regardless of whether I put uh, eyeshadow on or not and I always 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 do a winged eyeliner if I'm not using like fake lashes or anything like I'm not going OTT because I have really short lashes and I feel like when I do winged eyeliner it kind of makes up for it because you don't really see my lashes. That is it for my winged eyeliner. Okay, now for some lashes. I am not even going to bother curling them or anything like that because, like, the liner kind of just hides it all and adding mascara is just like another, I don't know, way to like deepen the color up, I guess. But for mascara, I am taking my Lash Princess Volume Mascara by Essence. Moving on to contouring my face, or bronzing and contouring. And you've probably seen this in like a million things and on my Instagram and on my blog posts, but I still love it. And that is the Hello Sunshine Face Contour Kit in the shade Light. This is from Kmart, it was $7. It's so good. So I'm starting off, this is kind of how I do, kind of sounds really weird. So. For just day to day, I don't go in with like the full contour, but I still want it contoured, I want it bronzed, but I'm really lazy and I don't want to spend much time on it. So I take these two colors and I put my brush in that one and then I put my brush in that one just lightly, just so I can get both of them in there. I don't put blush on during the day. I don't know why, but I just don't. So I'm just taking ooh, 
this highlight shade and putting that up here. And then I put a little bit down at the bridge of my nose and then a little bit on my cupid's bow. So next I am taking my Revlon Ultra High Definition Matte Lip Color. That's it there. I like the color, like the packaging's really nice. It does not dry matte. It's like, I don't know. I like the color though. And it smells so nice. So that is it for my everyday like 10 minute face routine thing. My, my, my god, I've just lost it my everyday makeup routine this is 100% like what I do literally every day like I'm that boring um I barely change it up the only thing I would really change is maybe some days I'll put blush on and some days I won't put any um eyeshadow on and if I'm super lazy I don't do my eyebrows at all I just kind of run the gel through them just to kind of give me the shape not so much the color so depending on my level of laziness this is the general look this is like the 90% of the time, kinda look. That is it for this video, I, well, that's not weird. That is it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any other video suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. And if you haven't already, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna see more videos. And go check out all my links down below, etc, etc. And I will see you in my next video, bye.